Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the October Fright Crate. Now you may be asking yourself, why is it the October unboxing when it is well into December? Well, it's not all on Fright Crate, I will say that. Uh, they did ship a little bit later on this box, but the biggest issue was they pay for two-day shipping for, uh, through the U.S. Postal Service, and my two-day shipping took 12 days to get to me, which, you know, I'm no math wizard, but two-day shipping taking 12 days doesn't quite make sense. Um, U.S. Postal Service used to be a lot better, but ever since Louis DeJoy took over, he has run it into the ground. So that guy's got to go. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, the quote on this one, I think of horror films as art, as films of confrontation. David Cronenberg. Yeah, I think that's an accurate statement. Plus, who's, especially who who's a horror fan, is really going to uh, argue with David, David Cronenberg. He obviously knows what he's doing. He's obviously, you know, one of the big names, one of the big talents in horror. All right, here we go. So I don't, because it's been so long since I ordered this one, and I did order the November and December, so I will be getting those. Um, I don't remember what the, the movies for this one were, so I'll be very surprised, I think. Okay, what are we going to go with first? I'm not going to go with the shirt first. I'm going to pull something else out. What in the world is this? All right, I'm already going to tell you I'm not a fan of this, whatever it is. It appears to be some sort of, like, prop, replica, amulet thing. I will have absolutely no use for this. It says something on the back. I don't know. This is dumb. I don't like this. See the thing on the back? I mean, it is metal. It is heavy. That's, you know, like a cheap little jewel thing you can buy at any, like, arts and crafts store. Um, nope, don't like that. That's trash. Not a fan. I don't even remember what it's from, or know what it's from. All right, so the next thing is one of the magnets. Every now and then they give us magnets from Serial Resin Co., and they're usually really well done. So let's take a look at this one. This one's really in there. This is... What one is this? Is this... What character is this? I'm not knowing this one. Oh, is this, um... Is that Dead Ringers? Is that what that is? The Doctor, like the Doctor Twins? I haven't seen the film. I just kind of know a little bit about it. It looks like maybe that's what it is. Kind of remember seeing a look kind of like that. Um, there's not a whole lot to the color on this. It's very red and with a little bit of black here and there and the blue. I do like how they got the blue there. It's like bluer on the outside and a little bit lighter on the inside. That's cool, but it's not that complicated of a piece. It's, yeah. All right, I'm going to do the shirt now. It's usually what I'm most excited about, so let's do it. Oh, cool. So Halloween. I don't. I have one Halloween shirt, so this will be my second one. That looks really good. As usual, I'm assuming Max Cave did this. Max Cave usually does all their designs for the shirts, and they are outstanding. That looks great. I love the skull pumpkin, and then obviously you have Michael Myers, Dr. Loomis, and Laurie Strode, all the main characters. That looks good. Oh, I also like the glint on the knife of Michael Myers there. That's a cool one. I, I dig that. I mean, I always expect that I'm going to like the shirts. Like like I said, Max Cave, always a great job. All right, now let's go with a, get a patch. I hate patches. I, I have no, absolutely no use for patches. Um, but Monster Squad, it is cool. The design of the patch is really nice because it looks very 80s. Which, you know, Monster Squad is obviously very 80s. It was done in the 80s, but yeah. I mean, if you're into patches, I actually think this is a cool patch. I just have no use for patches. I think they're pretty outdated, too. I don't like seeing them in boxes, honestly. Uh, next thing, the pin. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Um, now, I, w I used to be a real big fan. Well, I mean, I still would watch it now if I could. Well, I mean, I'm sure I can, but... I'll go out of my way to do it at some point soon. But Ernest, the Ernest show, the movies, I used to watch that all the time when I was young. It was a family thing for me. And here's an awesome looking pin of Ernest Scared Stupid, which is a fun movie. And honestly, for how young the audience is supposed to be for that film, it's kind of scary. Like those trolls look pretty scary, especially for younger kids. 
And now that I'm talking about it, I believe that some of the masks from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space film were repurposed to be used for some of the trolls in Ernest Scared Stupid. I'm pretty sure that's true if you look that up. I'm remembering that for when I did my research for my Killer Clowns from Outer Space uh, movie review. But that's a cool pin. I like that pin a lot. It's a pretty big pin, too. Like, in comparison to my hand, that's a large... Yeah, that's a large pin. It looks good. It looks awesome. I love it. Uh, I don't want to do... There's something else in here that seems like maybe it's like a little art print. Oh. Yeah, it is. Also for Ernest Scared Stupid. Max Cave. Looks good. Nice. Look at this. Like I said, he does great work. Once again, this is great work. I love that he put Rimshot, Ernest Dog in there. That's awesome. Love Rimshot. And he put two trolls in there. And the little wooden dolls that the troll turns kids into. That's pretty cool. And that's signed down here by Max Cave. That's nice. I like that. It's a cool print. All right. And then I guess the the big thing, there's randomly just some like blank piece of paper in here. I don't know why they did that. Uh, okay. And then the... For most people, piece de resistance, which is the cereal resin piece. Do -do -do. It's been a while since. What is all around the outside of that? It's, it's weird. All right, so I'm going to set it over here. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is a movie I actually have not seen. I've seen some images from it, and I know about it. And it's been on my list to see. I've been meaning to get to it. I will get to it. So, it's one of the creatures from The Gate. I'm sure a lot of people right now are like, what, you've never seen The Gate? Yeah, I'm sorry. There's so many movies that I need to be seeing that I just have not seen yet. That looks fine. Not bad, not bad. I mean, once again, this is it's for the most part one color, much like the other thing. So, um, I don't really see any like big paint gaps or anything. So, quality control-wise, looking pretty good. Some of the, I think uh, a few of the last ones, some real painting problems, but with this one, looking pretty solid. Okay, uh, that's cool. I'm sure certain people who are really into the gate will probably really like that. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. All right, so then let's just uh, go over what everything was. All right, exclusive Halloween 2 shirt, insert John Carpenter's theme, is what it says on here. What? Oh, the, the song. I was like, what are you... Uh, amazing design by Freight Crate collaborator Max Cave. Follow him on Facebook. Actually, maybe I will do that. I haven't done that before. Uh, exclusive minion figure from The Gate. One of our favorite movie creatures come to life in this serial resin coat offering. Who knew that hell had such cool monsters? All right, sure. I gotta get this lighting. Sorry. It's not, not cooperating today. My apologies. Exclusive Heart of Dambala prop replica from Bride of Chucky. Okay, that makes sense. I haven't seen Bride of Chucky before. Also, I hate prop replicas. I have no use for them. I know there are people out there who like them, so some people really like that. Ade Boku Dambala. Give me the power, I beg of you. A faithful replica made only for Freight Crate customers. 24-inch chain. One of the best prop replica replicas we've ever had in our box. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, exclusive Ernest pin. One of our bigger pins to date. It is very large. Featuring Ernest P. Whirl, the goofball inventor with multiple personality disorder. Two and a half inch double posts off enamel. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Exclusive Scared Stupid art print. Another original design by Max Cave. Yes, quite nice. And the exclusive Monster Squad iron-on patch. Custom made. Okay. So I think it's the next box that I'm going to be doing, the November box that has all the stuff I was really excited about. Um, sign off here if you don't want to know anything from it. But uh, I believe it had in it something from Trick or Treat and something from Krampus, as well as a few other things I was interested in that I can't remember right now. So very excited for that one. But anyway, um, this is a pretty good box. Really like the pin, really like the t-shirt. Um, the quality on the little resin piece is nice. Uh, also, the um, the magnet. So, oh, what was the magnet? I guess that was just like an extra thrown in because they didn't have it on the little card. I think it's Dead Ringers. I, I do. So, But people, you can tell me down in the comments. But thanks for checking this out. 
do me a quick favor. If you don't want to miss any of these or you want to see my movie review videos or you just appreciate me doing any of that stuff, hit that subscribe button. That is your best way to repay me. And I do thank you very much for doing that. I'm not making money doing this or anything. It's just a, you know, it's a fun thing. So trying to build a horror community here so I can talk nerdy with horror folks. Anyway, also hit that uh, notification bell if you're going to do that. And that way you'll know when I'm putting up new videos. But regardless, I appreciate you taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.